Well, definitely fall here in the Cranky Motorsports stable. And with the changing of the seasons, sometimes comes new projects. So my buddy Alex from Mainly Media just left my house. When I was down at Zagre Farm uh, a month or so ago, I had picked up a dozer blade because he was looking for one. And uh, basically what we did was traded the dozer blade for this Roper RT-13 because this is a tractor that he was actually trying to get rid of for a while. And I like it. And uh, it's got a 13 horse Briggs on it. And it's got the cool flat fenders and the aluminum nose cone and aluminum dash and all that stuff. So um, we had talked about, you know, making a deal a couple of months ago, actually, when he was here with the SS15, uh, we were gonna make a deal for me to buy this thing. And I just never really got around to it. And it's getting close to winter. He wanted his plow. And because I picked one up, basically we decided that we were gonna trade the tractor for the plow, which I feel like I'm getting the better end of the deal. And I offered him some more stuff, but he's trying to clean out his yard as well. So now I have yet another roper. The only one I have actually, so he was the one that actually bought my loader with the roper that I had completely restored on it. That was actually an SS16 with roper chassis and everything, roper fenders and all that stuff. But so he has my really nice roper RT16T. So now I have this RT13 from him, and I also have another, the Bicentennial version Roper 16T uh, with the red, white, and blue pinstripes on the hood that I bought off of another buddy of mine a few years back. That one I had swapped a Onan B48M 18 horse into. But this one has the original Briggs in it. So the only thing this thing really needs is a coil setup to run. The motor turns over nice and freely. This one has a geared starter on it, so hopefully that starter is going to be good. I'm not really sure yet. It looks a little bit chewed up. This one has a plastic gear on it, so who knows if the starter is going to be any good, but worst case, I'll have to buy a new starter for it. Overall, the tractor is really not in bad shape. I mean, fenders are bent a little bit here and there. It still has the original steel gas tank on it. He threw a pan seat on it because the original seat was junk um, and the motor, you know, the tins and stuff are coming off of it, but that's not a big deal. Everything's there. I have all the covers for the engine and stuff like that. So this will be the next project. I probably won't touch this one till spring unless it's just a tinker on it. It's at the point right now where I need to start switching my garage over from fall mode and mowing mode into winter mode. So I got to get a, a front end loader my snow blower and one plow tractor over on this side of the garage so they're ready to use when the snow comes get them all serviced my uh, snow blowing machine the starter sometimes gets stuck on it and it needs an oil change and i think it's leaking oil out the side of the engine so i need to change one of the gaskets but we'll see if i get to that before winter but i haven't done anything in a few weeks ever since i did all the work on the david bradley because I got pneumonia and I was in bed for like five days straight and it's taken me a couple of weeks to regain my strength and my ability to really do anything. So today being the first day that I've been home and feeling better, I have a whole bunch of projects to do. So I need to mow my grass and get rid of all these leaves, do an oil change in my truck and rotate my tires before the winter. And uh, yeah, so another cool project here at the cranky motorsports stable this is going to be a short little video thanks for tuning in i really appreciate everything everybody does when they watch my channel so stay tuned for future videos on the roper rt13 have a great day god bless and keep tractoring